What's up guys, welcome back. Today's theme is quick, easy, and inexpensive. Anytime I order out, shrimp fried rice is typically on the menu, so today I figured I'd show you how easy it is to make it right from the comfort of your own home. And the best part about this recipe, aside from the fact that it's delicious, is that you probably have most of these ingredients already in your kitchen. But before we get into that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Today we're gonna need one medium sized yellow onion, about a half cup of diced green onion, two to three cloves of minced garlic, two beaten eggs, we're gonna use some low sodium soy sauce, along with some hoisin sauce, we're gonna add a little bit of sweetness to the party, some sesame oil, garlic and ginger paste, and of course some Kerrygold butter. Now anytime you look up a fried rice recipe on the internet, it's gonna tell you that you need day old white rice. Now day old white rice does make good fried rice, but you can also do it with fresh rice and that's what I'm gonna show you today. So as you can see here, we have some freshly cooked white rice. So the key here guys, is to make sure that the rice is dry and cool. So we're just gonna put this on the baking sheet, flatten it out, and just give it a few minutes to air dry. This has already had a little time to dry out in the pot here but we just wanna spread this out. You can use your hands, don't be shy. Just get in there and make sure that they got some, each piece of rice has a little breathing room. It'll air out and get nice and dry for you. And you'll get a very similar result to if you had day old white rice. All right, so for my next pro tip today, guys, as you can see, we have one pound of peeled, devein, and defrosted shrimp. These are large shrimp. You can use whatever size you like for your fried rice. But the key, my friends, is to make sure that the shrimp gets nice and dry. So typically frozen shrimp is waterlogged and it's not gonna get nice color. And that's not what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and dry this off with some paper towels before we get to cooking. Small extra steps like this make all the difference in the final product and flavor and presentation. So just take some paper towel, press down and just get the shrimp as dry as you can. Now guys, when it comes to your shrimp, you can keep it simple with salt and pepper. You can use my all-purpose seasoning, or you can use whatever your favorite blend is at home. But I'm going down with a little AP, and I'm gonna hit it with some lemon bay also, just cause it's so good with seafood. Also has a nice little bit of citrus to it, which is you know, a nice flavor profile for your shrimp. Not necessarily traditional with fried rice, but it's your kitchen, you can season your food with whatever you like. Now, if you don't have shrimp, guys, you can do this with chicken, pork, you can make vegetable fried rice, million different ways you can do this. But this recipe is a great foundation. And you just wanna make sure that whatever your protein is, is seasoned thoroughly like that. All right guys, so you wanna grab a wok or a large pot or skillet like this one right here, about a tablespoon or so of avocado oil and a tablespoon of butter for flavor. Remember butter makes everything better. At least in my house it does. We're gonna allow that to melt and then we're gonna to start to cook our shrimp. Now, whatever protein you decide to use, you wanna start with that, that way that you start to get some of that flavor down in the bottom of your wok or your skillet. And that's gonna add flavor to the rest of your, of your rice dish. So we're just gonna go ahead and add in these shrimp now, working over medium, medium high heat. You don't need it to be too hot. We just wanna get the party started a little bit, get that shrimp flavor going. Shrimp and butter is a match made in heaven. Avocado oil is there to help make sure that the butter doesn't burn up too quickly. As you guys know, shrimp gets cooked faster than me at an open bar wedding. Maybe not even two minutes, more like 60 seconds. Get some good color on there. Same thing on the other side. That's one of the things that I do like about making shrimp fried rice at home is you can actually get some color and some flavor on your shrimp. No matter how good the fried rice is at my favorite takeout spot, the shrimp really never have a whole lot of flavor to them. So that's the beauty of making stuff at home. You can kind of put your own twist on it and make sure those shrimp actually taste like something. Now once your shrimp are cooked to your liking, we're gonna go ahead and take a slotted spoon and remove them. All right, so once the shrimp is out of there, we're going in with our onions, the white and the green onion. You can add some jalapeno in here if you want it to be spicy. 
really guys, fried rice is one of those things that I like to make when I'm trying to clean out the fridge. So if I got any extra veggies, carrots, celery, whatever you got, you can throw it in your fried rice. Mushrooms are great. Peppers, onions, all that good stuff. Whatever you got in the fridge that looks like it's about time to get rid of it, it's time to whip up a stir fry. And with the price of eggs right now, we can't afford to let anything go to waste. Now I know I said earlier this is an inexpensive dish. We got two eggs in this recipe, so feel free to complain in the comments. All right, so now I'm going in with about a teaspoon or so of sesame oil. This stuff does pack a punch, guys. A little bit goes a long way, so don't get too crazy with it. I'm also gonna cheat and go in with my flavor enhancer. Now, the reason why a lot of Chinese food tastes so good is because it has MSG in it. And based on my research, I don't believe that MSG is the demon we make it out to be. And most importantly, it's delicious. So we're gonna add some chicken bouillon powder, which does have MSG in it. And that is gonna significantly increase the flavor profile here. So we're gonna work that in. Once your veggies start getting tender, we're going in with some garlic. And then we'll add the rice here momentarily. Next up, we're going in with some garlic and some ginger paste. Since we're using fresh garlic, you can go a little lighter on the garlic paste if you want or leave it out all together, but I love me some garlic, so here we are. A little ginger as well. All right, now guys, at this point, we're gonna increase the heat a bit to medium high. I'm gonna use my hands to kind of break up this rice. This is gonna be perfect. All right, so at this point, you just wanna toss that rice around and all that flavor and oil and butter and whatnot and do what the name of the recipe is. You wanna stir fry it. So we're gonna fry that rice up. Kind of break it up with your spatula for anything that you didn't get with your hands. But you would have never guessed that that rice was just made 20 minutes ago. So at this point, I'm going in with our soy sauce. Quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. A little hoisin sauce, which is almost like an Asian barbecue sauce. It's gonna add a little sweetness and some balance to the flavor profile. And it's gonna help darken up the rice a bit. Now you don't want to go too crazy on the seasonings, guys. We got soy sauce, we got hoisin sauce. All that stuff has quite a bit of sodium in it, along with the chicken bouillon. So no need to get too aggressive on that. Next up, we're gonna slide this rice off to the side for a second. Add about a teaspoon or two of oil. And then in come those overpriced eggs. You don't want to overwork the eggs, guys. Just let the heat do its thing. We'll scramble those and mix that in with the rice. This is two eggs, you could use one. This isn't a huge serving of fried rice. I'm getting a little aggressive with these expensive eggs, but hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna go down with just a little bit of all-purpose season to make sure those eggs got some flavor. Once they start to scramble nicely, we'll start to fold it into the rice. Right at about this point right here. We'll let the eggs join the party. And now guys, just for controversy's sake, I'm gonna add some peas and carrots to my fried rice because that's how I like mine. If you don't like peas and carrots, you should grow up or just leave them out of the recipe. No big deal. Add some nice color, adds a little bit more veggie to the party. We're just gonna fold that in. And then last but not least, we're gonna add back in the one pound of shrimp that we made. And now my friends, you got shrimp fried rice. As always guys, taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. We've been kind of seasoning as we go like you should. We're just gonna let this cook once those veggies defrost and get nice and tender. We're ready to plate this up. And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. 
The only thing left to do is dig in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, I've waited long enough. I've got my fork. We're gonna grab us. There's plenty of shrimp to choose from, that's for sure. Oh man, look at that. Here we go. Mm. Right from the comfort of your own home. Cut at home. I don't know what the I after that. This recipe comes together super. We need one yellow onion, a couple, what would I call that? Make good fried rice. But today I'm gonna show you how, one more time.